And now to introduce Tom Bailey is Judith Scott Clayton, Associate Professor of Economics and Education, Department of Education Policy and Social Analysis. Thank you. So without Tom Bailey, I wouldn't be here. Obviously without Tom Bailey, none of us would be here in this specific moment, at this specific spot. But what I mean is that I wouldn't be where I am in life, doing the work that I'm doing, if not for Tom. There are probably many of you here in this room today who would say the same thing, but I also know that others of you are just getting to know Tom and wanting to get sort of the inside scoop on what to expect in the coming years. So I'm here to share a bit about my experience with Tom so that all of you can get just, just as excited as those of us who do know him are about what he will bring to this new role. Tom Bailey chaired the search committee that brought me to Teachers College about 10 years ago, fresh out of graduate school, for a faculty position that included a substantial research role at the Community College Research Center, or CCRC. And as I was preparing for today, I was reflecting on the qualities that have defined this 10 years that I've had working with Tom. And it wasn't easy to try to boil them all down, but I settled upon three qualities that I think are particularly relevant for his new role. The first, which many uh, have already spoken about today, is Tom's natural warmth and good nature, which sets the tone for everyone around him. This might sound like a small thing, but one thing that I, I really noticed when I came uh, to Teachers College, um, moving from another hyper overachieving city on the East Coast, was that whenever I saw Tom, he'd ask about my family or ask about something I'd done that weekend. And in an overachieving place, it was really nice to be acknowledged in these simple ways as a human being with value separate and apart from my latest accomplishment. Now, we all know that presidential candidates are often judged on the standard of whether or not this is someone you'd like to have a beer with. Well, I think Tom would pass an even more stringent standard, which is, could you ask him to hold your baby for a few minutes at the holiday party so that you could get a quick bite to eat? But in any case, the answer to both of those questions is yes. Tom was well known as a baby holder at CCRC, and that's something I took advantage of at least once or twice. The second quality that stands out to me about Tom is his intellectual incisiveness and his intolerance for BS. He's an excellent listener, and as just mentioned, he's extremely good-natured. But don't mistake this for uncritical approval. He'll ask hard questions, including of his own work, and he'll expect everyone to know their stuff. Nor will he let anyone coast on their own past success. When I first came to TC as a quantitative researcher with a fancy degree but no particular expertise in community colleges, Tom insisted that I get out there and visit a few campuses to talk to students, talk to faculty, talk to administrators on the ground so that, I, so that I would have at least some clue what the heck I was talking about before I started crunching their data. I hope and expect he'll continue to be as demanding of himself and of the rest of us in his new role as president. The third and maybe the most important quality for this new role is Tom's skill as a cultivator of both individual potential and at the same time, a common purpose. At CCRC, there are always dozens of projects ongoing at any given time involving not just TC faculty and researchers, but often other faculty and research partners from around the country. So as you might imagine, a big part of Tom's role as director often involved a fair amount of herding cats. Not that faculty are anything like that, um, but despite Tom being, I think, more of a dog person at heart, um, he's also apparently a really good herder of cats. He's not a micromanager. Cats really wouldn't like that. And not once in my time here have I had the sense that he was trying to shape me or any of the staff at CCRC into his own image. From the beginning, I have appreciated that Tom always wanted to help me succeed at being the best me I could be. And yet, while he gives individuals the flexibility that they need to flourish, he also was constantly pushing us to find the common threads in our work to tie them together and to make a contribution that would be greater than the sum of our individual parts. So this only scratches the surface, really, of why I believe Tom Bailey is the right man for this moment. 
Uh, but luckily, you don't have to take my word for it because you, you're all about to learn uh, for yourselves. <laughs> 